Hello Leo and welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing your reading for the month of November. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled as always. I will shuffle live. And during meditation, Spirit showed me a unicorn and a bow and arrow. And to me, the unicorn just symbolizes that you are incredibly unique and you definitely stand out. And the bow and arrow just tells me that you are aiming for something. It looks like you have your eye set on something and um, you're incredibly focused. And I feel like you had some serious focus last month, if I recall correctly. So take it how it resonates. Sorry, spirit was guiding me. When I'm silent, it's because spirit is guiding me. And I'm listening to their guidance. All right, let's take a look. By, by the way, that was all the energies that I got. It was very direct, very clear. There were no mixed, uh, mixed messages, no intertwinings of energies. It was very, very, very direct. Funny that this is, I hadn't, I, when I'm pulling out the cards, I'm not necessarily looking at the cards. I'm just feeling energy. And it's funny that this card, this is your card because at the bottom of the deck, I was called to look at it and it is temperance and it's in reverse and that's what I feel like this is this there is not necessarily there's a discord um is what I'm getting okay there's a discord that's what I'm trying to say um within the self I'm gonna go ahead and leave this card or actually I'm gonna leave it right here for right now so you can see the the imbalance that's happening. And I don't necessarily feel like there's an imbalance within like your mind. I feel like this is a scattered energy. It's it, and not necessarily scattered. Let's not even correct. It's more of a, a duality. Okay. It's almost like you have to put on a front in some situations and then it's very rare that you're able to just kind of be relaxed and be you is what I'm getting here because of all of the juggling uh, that you're having to do. I'm also getting like a different persona. Like you have a mask on. So what you're showing to the world, to, you know, the people in your life, in your work, whatever, it, it feels like you wear a mask, but inside there are some deeper issues, deeper feelings that are happening. And I'm getting the sense that you are calculating. And I don't mean this in a bad way. But it, it feels like you're trying to decipher. It's almost like that bow and arrow where you're pulling back the bow and you're trying to figure out exactly where to aim. And depending on where you're going to shoot, that arrow will be determined by a lot of the external um, elements, right? So the wind, the cold, the heat, you know, all of that, the noise, and you, it feels like you have to, it's like you're trying to take in all of those elements and try to figure out what exactly is your mark and, and focus in, like hone in on what that mark is. I hope that makes sense. I'm also getting the sense that 
you've been playing this at this duality thing for a while and I'm getting I'm getting the energy of exhaustion. Let's take a look at your cards here. I'll move this one out of the way. We have the Moon, Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords, Five of Cups, Two of Swords in Reverse, Strength in Reverse, King of Pentacles in Reverse, Wheel of Fortune, and the Chariot in Reverse. I feel that you are clear on what your wants and what your needs are, at least to yourself, but you still feel trapped in whatever situation this is. And even, even here on this five of cups, you're holding on to the stick, but I feel like you're still looking forward. I don't feel like you're looking backwards. You're looking forward. Again, planning for the future, aiming for out there, even though it may look vague in the future and you're not, and you don't know what's ahead, you have an idea of what you want it to look like, but something is still keeping you holding on to a situation, whatever this is, you're still holding on to it because either you have to, or, or, you know, out of necessity or want or need, I don't know. So uh, Take it how it resonates. Everybody's situation is going to be different. But I feel like there is an energy around you that is incredibly indecisive, very wishy-washy kind of an energy, and also not fantastic with money. I feel like this person is incredibly draining uh, to you. I also feel like this person is incredibly... Um, needy is the word I'm getting needy. And again, this doesn't necessarily have to be a person. This could be a work situation. So perhaps work requires a lot of you and perhaps they need you a lot and it could be draining your energies, draining your resources. I feel like you're torn between one thing and another. Everything will line up in due time, but it is a slow process. So you're going to have to just wait it out. I mean, she's got the clock here. Just wait it out. It's, it's slow. Just I don't know why I'm saying this, but spirit just said, take notes, take notes. I don't know what that means. Perhaps you know what that means. I, I don't, I don't know what that means. I'm drawn to, I'm drawn to the time. And they just said, take notes. And I just now noticed that there's writing on here. All right, let's find out what's going on with this Five of Cups. Understand that you're moving forward and, and you know what your desires are. I understand that you feel trapped. Let's find out what's going on with this Five of Cups. What's going on here? This card really wants to come out. Okay, yeah. You're not ready to move forward. You're just not ready to move forward. What's this Two of Swords face? What's this two of swords? This card. Yeah, it's a constant conflict. It's a constant conflict, either in a constant indecision that is happening that causes conflict, whether, again, whether it's you or an outside source, I don't know. Take it how it resonates. You know your situation better than I. I can only give you the energies here. 
Oh. This could be someone you are married to and are thinking about divorcing. This could be a job that you are committed to and you may be thinking about leaving. This could be um, a lease that you have and you're thinking about breaking. Take it how it resonates. I have a card here for this Wheel of Fortune. Yes, you are ready for a new beginning. But not yet. You're ready for a new beginning. They want all of these cards. Okay, they want this for this. You're ready for a new beginning. But not yet. It is a slow process. You have to gain your momentum slowly. You have to build your resources. Like I said, your resources are drained. You have to build your resources, whether that's mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually, whatever this is, financially, whatever this looks like. It's about planning, notating, uh, just having, uh, again, like that bow and arrow aim, but you've got to have a plan of in action, take into account all of the elements. Take account all of the elements. In the chariot, we have the emperor and the strength card. Wow. I just noticed you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven major arcanas. Oh, and eight with the temperance. Wow. You're going through a major, major shift in your life right now. Oh, I didn't, didn't even count the strength, did I? I didn't. Ma well, it doesn't even matter. Major, um, major change in your life. There's shifts that are happening right now. And I feel like this process started maybe a couple of months ago, but I'm getting very strongly like you're, you were more clear about it maybe last month. And now you're, I feel like you feel better about it internally, but it feels like on the outside, you still have to sh save face. I hope that makes sense. But here with this emperor and the strength, you have to take it slow because you can't just detach cold turkey here. It feels like you cannot detach cold turkey. It feels like you have to gain your, I don't want to say the word strength. You have to gain empowerment. This is about empowerment, self-empowerment. And again, in its strength and momentum as well, within the self and in the physical. It feels like you're starting to gain the, the strength of self, even though you may have moments of weakness um, emotionally or spiritually where you might break a little bit. It feels like you're still gaining that momentum. You're still moving forward, but it feels like you're, there's still, something that you're building. And again, I feel like this is a lot about resources here, resources, whatever that means for you, resources. Okay. I can't wait to see what this looks like in the uh, first half and second half of November. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you haven't already, click that notification button so you know when I upload those videos. Ask body. This is saying take moments to realign the self 
make sure that you're doing what's best for you not just for everybody. Yes, you have to save face because of the situation that you're in, whatever this is, you know, having to be kind to your boss, who's kind of a douche, you know, whatever this looks like, you know, and you having to save your pennies to leave that job, or you having to set up your resume to leave that job, whatever this is, make sure that you have good boundaries and you listen to your body. And when it tells you that it's tired Take a break, walk away. If you're feeling that anxiety, feel that, understand it, go to the bathroom, excuse yourself, and breathe through it. This is going to help you out a lot. I'm getting a lot of anxiousness here um, with this card. Friendship and music. I feel like you have to lean on friends and um, listen to some music to kind of unwind yourself. Maybe that's your thing. Um, friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Music. Listen carefully where there may be a message in music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to the door. If you've been listening to music and you've been hearing messages, like, you know, you've been hearing the same song, and, or you've heard this song so many times, but all of a sudden, it hits you a different way. That's a message you need to hear. That's also a message that explains to you what's happening within the body, within your spirit, right? Wow. You guys, this, this was, um, this was deep, Leo. This was deep, All right? My lovelies, that is what I have for you. I'm so sorry that you're going through this situation, but it does look like you're come, you're going to come out of this very strong. Of course, that is if you're taking care of the self. Okay. Make sure you take care of the self. All right, my darlings, until we meet again, have a great one.